We're given matrix A and asked to find the eigenvalues of A, which are the values of lambda that satisfy the equation, the determinant of A minus lambda I equals zero. So for review, if A is an n by n matrix, suppose that x is a non-zero vector in Rn and lambda is a number or scalar such that A times vector x equals lambda times vector x. This means that A times vector x is a scalar multiple of vector x and vector x is called an eigenvector of A and lambda is called an eigenvalue of A. We say lambda is the eigenvalue associated with or corresponding to the vector x and vector x is the eigenvector associated with or corresponding to lambda. So the number lambda is an eigenvalue of A if and only if it satisfies either of these two equivalent equations. We have the determinant of lambda i minus a equals zero or the determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero. When expanded, the determinant is a polynomial in lambda of degree n that is called the characteristic polynomial of a and the entire equation is called the characteristic equation. So again, for our example, we'll only be doing number one. We'll find the eigenvalues of a by determining the values of lambda that satisfy this equation here. Later, we'll also be finding the eigenvectors, where the eigenvectors of A corresponding to lambda are the non-zero solutions to this equation here. So going back to our example, to set this up, we'll have the determinant of, again, matrix A, which is given, minus lambda times the identity matrix, where because A is a two by two matrix, lambda times I would be this matrix here. And this must be equal to zero. Let's go ahead and write this using vertical bars. So the first row of the determinant is going to be one minus lambda and then three minus zero, which is three. The second row is going to be four minus zero or four and negative three minus lambda. The value of the two by two determinant is equal to this product minus this product. So we have the quantity one minus lambda times the quantity negative three minus lambda minus three times four, and this must equal zero. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. So we have negative three minus one lambda or minus lambda plus three lambda plus lambda squared minus 12 equals zero. Combining like terms, we have lambda squared plus two lambda minus 15 equals zero. So we have a quadratic equation in terms of lambda, which does factor, the left side factors into two binomial factors. The factors of lambda squared are lambda and lambda. The factors of negative 15 that add to positive two are positive five and negative three. So this product equals zero when lambda equals negative five or when lambda equals positive three. So these are the eigenvalues of the given vector A. I hope you found this helpful.